So there's a lot of hysteria surrounding growers. And it's we'll be so much better when we can have an open society where we can rent places specifically made and rented to growers. People who can who admit they're gonna grow 10 or 20, 30 plants in the house, and the house comes equipped with a grow room. the Prince of Paul himself, the man who's free, the celebration we brought to you today, we're covered it from A to Z. Mark, crowd loves you. Long time, what do you got to say to the crowd, what do you got to say to the people that are going to be watching this online? Well, this is so much fun, I wish you could be here today, not so much to even say hello to me, but this is one of those iconic, classic Canadian West Coast days, where there's a lot of weed, and a lot of good music, and it's a beautiful warm day, uh, almost, you know, a little more uncharacteristic for Vancouver and I just come from Toronto where it was cold and rainy for four days so this is my first real summer day as a free man in in five years so it's wonderful well from the Cannabis Canada Society to you and from the coalition to you you know welcome home Mark really it's uh, it's good to have you back and we look forward to uh, some good leadership again in BC well, it's going to happen quick, too. There's going to be a lot going on in the next year. We're going to make next October 19th a referendum on marijuana. We're going to call it, you know, basically what it is, Legalization Day. Either we make it happen or we don't. It's our one big historical chance. We've got some guy who says he'll legalize. If we make him prime minister, he has a good shot at doing that. We've got to guarantee he does that, and we've got to beat the, the prohibitionist conservative government. So our, our, what we have to do in the next year is extremely clear. And do you still you still support home gardens for like medical patients like myself, right? Everybody should be growing. I never understood the hysteria about children and plants in a home. We've been doing that for centuries. Every Canadian grew up on a farm. I mean, when did plants become some threatening thing? And for that matter, when did fertilizer become threatening? We've been using that since 1913. You know, synthetic fertilizers, and there are no you know. So there's a lot of hysteria surrounding growers, and it's. We'll be so much better when we can have an open society where we can rent places specifically made and rented to growers. People who can who admit they're going to grow 10 or 20, 30 plants in the house, and the house comes equipped with a grow room. In a legal environment, we need to have that option. And so that's why I like the Colorado model, six plants per person, 12 in a household, right? Reasonable enough. You can grow 12 very big plants if you want. Goodness knows I've seen it. And uh, a pound a plant, you know, one light each plant, you know, you're still within the law. But then, you know, there's the whole regime about different stores. And, and the great thing about Washington and Colorado is that everybody who got involved had to be from Colorado or Washington. So they really did go with local growers. They are growing it locally. It's all grown in state. So a lot of, even with the unwieldy awkwardness of the American system, a lot of great knowledge is being discovered right now about how legalization works because when we get legalization here next year on October 19th it's real simple what they do is they just take cannabis out of the schedule of controlled drugs and substances so the minister one day would say after consultation with the provinces the federal government today ceased to have marijuana in the schedule of and therefore it is now regulated by province and no longer a criminal code matter so the provinces would all be obligated to come up with a regime and that requires them to start talking about it now because no one's talking about it in the provinces and they keep saying it's a federal matter but it's about to become a provincial matter and sooner than they think so we need to have that dialogue too yeah, well mark i know you're busy welcome home once again it's thanks for coming on the show and uh, i know you're busy Happy, uh, happy Freedom Home Day and uh, happy party, brother. Thank you. Yes, great to be back. Mark Henry, everybody. This is Jason Wilcox. This is the end of the party. We're signing out. I'm going to go smoke some more weed with my friends and sit in the shade. People are getting tired. Mark's been swarmed. Excellent party. We'll see you in the next show. Cheers.